Yeah, what's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it Please none of the talks, I heard enough of it Like, what you gon' do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really about this, don't talk about it Really on the move, on the map, never slip Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it Real eyes, real lies, real lies All the time, stand on it If we said it, we don't walk around it Loose lips, ink ships, red cup, blue strips New phone, who this? No, we don't allow it Yo, what is good, J.I. Squad, and welcome back to it again. Another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I., and I'm back at it again with another banger video for you guys. As you guys can tell by the J.I. Galaxy above me in the red seatbelt peeking in the back there, you feel me? We are in Vader right now, and by the title and the thumbnail, you guys already know what we got going on today. We got two unboxings for you guys not one but two and these are some major components um to getting vader just 100 percent dialed in for the track and getting us those numbers those quarter mile times that we really want to see so with that being said y'all without further ado let's just get straight into it man i want to give a huge shout out to the boys over at NRG, man. Brandon, Christian, the GOATs, man. For real, for real. Um, as you guys know, I am tuned by NRG now. Um, and we went to the drag strip for the first time ever since the tune last week. Car's fastest pass was in 11.6 against the HPP, uh, I mean, HHP tuned C6. Six jet beat him to the line, so six jet takes it up. Um, and uh, yeah, man, you know, after looking at the time slips and stuff like that, Christian seen some things that he didn't like, and um, he wanted me to go ahead and get him some data logs. Now, with that being said, in order to do data logs, you need a couple things. So, starting off with number one, the first box, it's gonna be this joint right here. That's right, y'all. We have the HB tuners um, device here, you know what I'm saying? We're basically going to be using this to not only data log, but also when Christian sends over some revisions, we'll be using this to upload the revisions to the tune um, to the car. So with that being said, huge shout out to Brandon again. Um, you know what I'm saying? Getting your boy one of these because if you guys know, like if y'all been looking for HP tuners, bro, y'all know. <laughs> these joints been out of stock for a minute. So it's kind of hard to come across one of these if you want to get it in, you know what I'm saying, in a reasonable amount of time. The best bet is to buy it used off of somebody. So super stoked to have this. Literally, I paid for all of this yesterday, bro, and it's here today. <laughs> now, in this box... It's gonna be the second thing that we need to data log, but also it's just something that I personally needed for my car for sure. Uh, and we're gonna get it straight out this box. Straight like that. Pop this joint open. Trusty snap on joint, feel me? Bubble wrap. Yes, sir, ski. Hold on. Throw the box in the back, man. So much trash, but we good. So, this right here. Yes, we did go ahead and get the AEM air fuel ratio gauge. Um, but it also doubles back as a boost gauge, um, an ethanol content gauge. So that's something that I really needed because another thing that I want to mention 
about Friday's track night. I'll be honest, I really feel like I had a bad batch of E85, and the only reason why I say that is this. When I had the E85 in the car, you know what I'm saying, I had a full tank of gas. By the time we got to the track, I had just under half a tank of gas. Um, so by the time we were done racing, almost, I wanna say, like 15 minutes into the drive, I needed to get some gas. So I went ahead, put like $10.93 in the car, and then the following day, once it was on E again, I went ahead and filled up on E85. Now, with that being said, I went to my original station for the E85 that time, and the car feels so much more responsive on that E85 than it did on the Kroger E85. So I don't know if they just had a bad batch or whatever the case may be, but the car definitely felt a little bit uh, sl not sluggish, but it definitely did not feel like it was at its max potential. And I didn't know if that had anything to do with either the ethanol content at the time or the DA, you know what I'm saying? The DA was pretty high. So all of that stuff plays a major role into getting these high, well, low quarter mile times. Um, so with that being said, man, we have everything that we need to go ahead and move forward in getting Vader dialed in um, and 100%. And uh, I have the team behind me. Now we have the tools. So we finna get this joint right. Um, I'm gonna be the one doing the installation of the AEM gauge. Um, I also have a pod that my boy Creed gave me. So shout out to you, bro, for real, for real. Um, so yeah, man, it's just gonna be going ahead and wiring this stuff up, connecting it to the um, the bung that my boy Christian had went ahead and welded into the car. So we do have a wide band now and um, super stoked about it all right y'all so like i was saying i'm super stoked to finally be able to have all of the tools that i need to get vader 100 dialed in um like i said i have the team behind me and nrg you know what i'm saying now we have the resources with the hp tuners device and the aem air fuel ratio wideband whatever you guys want to call it we finally have all of those things we can finally go ahead get some data logs over to nrg make sure that christian likes what he sees that the car likes what it sees while it's making the passes in the quarter mile and we'll just go from there but without further ado that's actually going to go ahead and wrap it up for today's video because i am about to go ahead and get started installing the aem wideband on the car so make sure you guys turn on those post notifications so you can be notified when that video goes live and hit that subscribe button right now if you haven't already give this video a big thumbs up live chat was good man and go ahead drop a comment in the comment section down below and i will see you guys in the next one let's go ahead and roll that outro peace